Hi, this is Terry Kuti with Deep Sea Foundation, and I have the privilege of talking to Dr. Manas Krasopolo today from PRMA Plastic Surgery in San Antonio, Texas. His patients like to call him Dr. C, so welcome, Dr. C. Thanks for having me. We're going to talk today about restoring breast sensation as it refers to deep flap breast reconstruction. Important topic. It is. Not often discussed. No, but I have a lot of women that ask about it. Yeah, well, you know, plastic surgeons, we're all about appearances, right? So um, we have always focused wrongly on how the breast looks, mm -hmm. uh, especially after breast reconstruction. And we think that the result is wonderful because it looks good. Um, but we really haven't been cognizant of how the result feels. And we, we say things like... Uh, your reconstruction will feel natural and it will feel uh, more like a breast if you use tissue and things like that. But um, the follow-on question should be to whom? Because um, to the patient, uh, they, uh, they're not going to experience the, the normal feeling that they remember before the mastectomy. Now, anyone having a mastectomy should uh, be prepared for complete numbness, irrespective of their decision about breast reconstruction. So whether you're going to have breast reconstruction or not, if you're having a mastectomy, you have to be prepared for some degree of numbness, uh, sometimes complete numbness. Mm -hmm. Now over time, some of the sensation will recover, and it typically starts uh, at the base of the breast on the sides um, and, and over time the sensation will get better moving towards the center where the nipple and the areola used to be um, but it's minimal. Um, reconstruction can help. Uh, implants don't improve things because there's uh, there's nothing about the implant that will encourage nerves to regrow. It's a man-made foreign object. If you use the patient's tissue, uh, the results are better. If you spare the nipple and the areola, if you have a nipple sparing mastectomy, mm -hmm. those patients tend to recover sensation better. But the best thing you can do is incorporate a nerve reconstruction along with the breast reconstruction. So with deep flat procedures, we take a nerve that supplies skin to part of the tummy and we transfer that nerve along with the tissue transplant up to the chest and then we identify a nerve that was cut by the mastectomy because that's why you lose feeling after mastectomy because all the breast nerves are cut and then we typically use the fourth sensory intercostal nerve um, which is Wait, in the chest. There we go, that was my question. Right, so we attach the nerve that we have found in the belly, mm -hmm. we attach that to the cut end of the fourth sensory intercostal nerve in the chest. Mm -hmm. Now why do I even mention intercostal? Mm -hmm. Because um, when we look and find and prepare the blood vessels in the chest, that we use to connect the blood vessels from the flap. When we prepare those vessels, the nerves travel near those blood vessels. And ah. so uh, that is the intercostal space. Uh, we prepare the area for, the, uh, for, the, for attaching the, the blood vessels, mm -hmm. and then we attach the nerve. Mm -hmm. And so reattaching the nerve, uh, reconstructing the nerve doesn't restore normal feeling. It's not like Mother Nature, um, but it does uh, obviously beat the alternative of complete numbness. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at this, we're studying it. Um, anecdotally, uh, the nerve recovery after reconstruction doesn't appear to be as good in patients who have had radiation to that side of the chest, uh, which makes sense, but we don't know for sure. Uh, so. Definitely watch this space in terms of studies. Um, but it's important for people to ask about it and discuss it. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's been, uh, the topic's been dismissed, I would say, by many surgeons over the years, but it's, it's time to 
really push the conversation, ask about it. It's not just deep flat procedures that, that allow you to do um, a nerve reconstruction. Uh, we also do it with the SIEA flap, which is also using the, the lower tummy tissue, but you can also do it with some other flaps from other parts of the body, depending on where the tissue comes from. Um, so I encourage women to, to bring it up, talk about it, and um, seek out surgeons who, uh, who perform it. Yeah, I think that's really important. And I do tell other patients to ask the question about, you know, uh, reconstructing the nerve. From a patient's perspective, too, um, just to be quite honest and to talk about the intimacy uh, issue, because women talk to me about that. It is, you know, the sensation of the breast for women is uh, part of your sexual intimacy many times. And so I wrote a blog about it once, and it was tough to write because people generally don't like to talk about it. But when I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with women, they frequently ask me the question and bring it up. As you said, it's not like Mother Nature, but you successfully performed nerve, uh, you know, reconnecting the nerve, sensory nerves in my breast. And as you said, radiation is affected. My left side was radiated, so we know the blood flow was affected, et cetera, et cetera. Not so much there, but in my right breast it is. It was, and so I tell women, I've been married for many, many years, and I tell women, tell your partner where that new sensation is, because it's not like the old sensation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, tell your partner and guide them to where that new sensation is. Um, all of this conversation, I think, is very important and needs to be happening, um, not only among breast cancer reconstruction patients, but also in the doctor's office. So thank you very much for bringing it up today. It's good information. You're welcome. All right. Thanks so much.